information series and we'll be discussing the make or buy decision. So first let's look at an illustration and notice in this illustration we're only looking at costs, the relevant cost, whether we should make a product or buy it from someone else or outsource it. And notice we're not talking about revenues here. Under most circumstances whether we decide to make or buy it we're going to charge the same thing for the product once we sell it. So that's not relevant to this decision, so we leave that out. So if you see here, we're going to buy if we buy the product, we'll pay 16 million. If we decide to make it, we're going to we're going to, it's going to cost us 15 million. The difference is 1 million dollars uh, in favor of making it. So we would reject this offer from the seller and we would continue to make this product ourselves. So let's carry this forward on into a, an example of our own. Ruth Computers makes 5,000 units of a circuit board, CB76, at a cost of $230 each. Variable cost per unit is $180, and fixed cost per unit is $50. Thomas Electronics offers to supply 5,000 units of CB76 for $210. If Ruth buys from Thomas, it will be able to save $20 per unit in fixed cost, but continue to incur the remaining $30 per unit. Should Ruth accept Thomas's offer? So notice here, we're only considering relevant information. So what's relevant? Well, the first thing that's relevant is the variable cost per unit. Because if we decide to make the product, it's going to cost us $80 to make it. If we buy it, we'll have no variable cost per unit. Another relevant cost is fixed cost. The fixed cost to make are $50 per unit. If we buy it, we would have $30 in fixed cost per unit. And the third relevant cost would be the purchase price. If we make the product, we wouldn't have a purchase price. If we buy the product, the purchase price would be $210. But let's look at that fixed cost section for just a second. Remember, we're only interested in relevant cost. Think back to your definition of relevant cost. It occurs in the future and it differs among alternatives. So what about that $30? Does that $30 differ among these two, two alternatives? The answer is no, it does not. So when looking at this fixed cost, we're only interested in what's relevant. The only relevant data here is the $20 in additional fixed cost that we have when we make it than when we buy it. So that's the only relevant fixed cost in this decision. We have $20 more in fixed cost if we decide to make it versus if we decide to buy it. So then if we total up our unit relevant cost, it's going to cost us $200, the relevant cost, or $200 per unit to make it versus $210 to buy it. So therefore, we would reject this offer from Thomas and we would continue making our product ourselves. Thank you for watching my video. I would encourage you to visit my website at www.accountinged.tk. Here you can find current accounting and business news, accounting business and education blog, my accounting lecture documents, uh, access to all of my e-lectures as well as the accompanying e-assignments, and a bookstore where you can find great deals on books as well as textbooks.